Hi, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I am finally getting up my cooking vlog. I have been filming this since September. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the recipes, I can't quite remember what I said, but it is, um, it is um, chili. <laughs> and I'm like, this is going to be fabulous for the fall. I'm like, it kind of is fall. It was not fall, it was September, <laughs> but it is perfect for this time of year. So most of the recipes are healthy. I guess all of them are healthy except for that chili. But you know what? You gotta live. You gotta live and once in a while you gotta have pasta and you gotta have chili. You just cannot eat chicken and vegetables all the time. It gets boring. <laughs> if you're returning to my channel, thank you so much for coming back. If you're new, my name is Melinda. I'd love it if you would just take one moment and hit that subscribe button down below. So let's get into this. I believe I have four recipes that I'm going to share with you. I have been working on editing them this week. And uh, for the five of you who asked for this video, I better get five views on this video because this was a lot of work, <laughs> it really was. Let me know down below if you enjoyed this type of video, if you would like to see more, because I really filmed it pretty much with my phone, you know, and I could use a tripod and have me in the shots as well and show chopping and all of that if you'd like to see that. Or do you like this format where, you know, just watch it and see what I do and tell me if you like that or if you would like me to do more with a tripod or if you don't want to see any cooking videos at all. I just feel like when you watch luxury YouTubers, especially somebody like me who nine times out of ten is sitting in front of a desk just talking to you, it's kind of interesting to see something different. I do share a tour of my fridge and my pantry and our new freezer, which I'm so excited about. The pantry, everything is in its original packaging. I am not somebody to take the spaghetti out of a spaghetti box, put it into another container, and then write the word spaghetti on it. I think those pantries are beautiful, but it's not for me. I like reading the nutrition uh, information on all the packaging and also especially the cooking information. I like to see that too. <laughs> so um, it's not spectacular, but it is what it is. So I just, I love watching stuff like this. I was watching a luxury YouTuber, maybe it was a year or two ago and she was showing her fridge and she only showed like half of it. And I'm like, no, no, open the other door. <laughs> I wanna see what's in there. It's like a what's in my bag, but it's, you know, it's what food is in my house. <laughs> so I'm going to insert the clips right now and I hope you guys like it. So I think I did this recipe once before a long time ago, but I can't find it on my channel anymore. So I'm going to share it with you again. It is slow cooker chicken enchilada chili. So you just need a can. I like black beans. You can use any kind of beans that you like. I use mild Rotel. You can get hot, whatever you want. I also have mild uh, red enchilada sauce and a small can of corn. So you're going to want to drain the corn. Don't rinse it. Drain the beans. Rinse those. I also have a package of low sodium taco uh, seasoning. I personally don't like chili powder. There is some in this and it's enough for us um, spice wise, but you can add a tablespoon of chili powder and you just wanna leave your cream cheese a full block sitting out on the countertop. And I'm using chicken tenders for this, but you can use any kind of chicken that you want. So let me prep it and uh, show it to you in the crock pot and I have totally forgotten I also need um, a cup of chicken broth. Okay so I've drained the corn, I have drained and rinsed the beans, have the chicken in the slow cooker and I'm going to sprinkle the taco seasoning all over the chicken. I just think it does better that way. My husband's making us lunch behind me so if you hear that that's what that is. This is for dinner. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is the Rotel. And you don't wanna drain this. Just put that in there, all of it. There we go. The enchilada sauce. Just pour that all on top. Then I have the, um, the chicken broth. I have a cup of it here. 
So you're gonna let the cream cheese just soften and you're gonna put that in at the end. And then I'm gonna put the beans and the corn in. So this is just like such an easy dump and go meal. Like if you're busy, you can just put this in early in the morning, have dinner ready at night. So now what I wanna do is make sure it's on. I did, did that once and didn't turn it on. I wanna turn it down to low and I wanna cook it on six hours. So the chicken is fully cooked. You can see all the steam coming off of it. I just pulled it out and I'm going to just shred it with two forks and then put it back in and then I'm going to put the cream cheese in now. And I do this about anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes before I want to serve it. So it just takes seconds to shred it because it's so incredibly tender and the cream cheese is all nice and softened. So I am just going to add this back in, which I'm not sure I can do with one hand. I don't think so. <laughs> so just give it another stir and then add in the cream cheese. So that's it, just get this stirred in. You don't have to do it early like I do. I just, I don't know, I just like to shred it because I feel like then the shredded chicken kind of um, absorbs a little bit more of the liquid and the flavor. You could go ahead and just serve this right now. It is fully cooked. Um, I usually put it on warm and um, just wait a little bit to serve it myself. And this is really good um, when it's it's colder out. It's like great for football, great if you have a whole bunch of people over. It's a whole lot of food for two people though. So probably will end up freezing quite a bit of it. So it is ready to eat and I'm going to put some in a bowl here. And then I personally like to eat it with tortilla chips. You can put it in taco shells if you want to. You can put a little sour cream on top, a little extra cheese. But honestly, to me, this is rich enough by itself. A few chips. This is how I personally like it. I do put a little bit of sour cream on top. You could also do cheese, but I think it's rich enough without the cheese. And see if it's any good. I would show you me, but I don't have makeup on and we're not on that level of a relationship yet together. <laughs> mm. It's super good. You have to try this. So this recipe is going to be a lot healthier than the last slow cooker one that I shared with you. This is one of my favorites. I love using the slow cooker because I'm a lazy cook and you just dump it and go. So I have a package of um, chicken tenderloins. I have taco seasoning and I like to use less sodium for this one and I am a salt lover, but the way that it cooks and it concentrates down in the crock pot, it's just a lot better with that. And then I have three fourths cup of water, which is if you were making tacos on the stove, that is what you would use. So I'm just gonna put the chicken in here, dump the taco seasoning on top and the water and stir it. Actually, I don't even stir it, I lied. I just dump it in and then pour the water on top. And so this I'm gonna cook on low for four hours and then I'm gonna pull it out and I'm going to make sure I turn it on. I did this once, <laughs> I did not have it on. I'm gonna pull it out after four hours and shred it like with the other, okay, I'm gonna stir that. Uh, shred it like I did with the other recipe and if it's not as tender as I like, then I will cook it a little bit longer. But even after I shred it, I'm gonna put it back in here on warm if it's done all the way, just so it kind of absorbs some of that sauce. So I'm gonna give it a quick stir here. Okay, so I just pulled the chicken out and I shredded it with two forks. It shredded very easily. You can shred it as fine or as chunky as you like. And then I'm just gonna add it back. This is just the water and the um, taco seasoning. 
So I'm going to leave this in here for at least another half an hour. Um, turn it down to low and just kind of let it absorb that sauce and then serve it on taco shells or you could do um, soft tortilla shells, you could do nachos and you can see it's already starting to absorb pretty quickly there so just turning it down to low for a little bit and to make sure that all that flavor gets in through all of that shredded chicken and then we usually add a little bit of cheese and sometimes some salsa and if you watched that vlog i was talking about my tomatoes i showed you my tomato garden and so happy to still have all of these into november got a another little bag here let's see oh these are starting to ripen up in here and then there's some still outside on the plants that are ripe so i was very happy to not completely have missed out on my tomatoes So I thought it would be fun to kind of do what I did in 2020 and show y'all what is in the fridge, the freezer, the pantry, um, just cause it's fun. We normally don't have a lot of food, like I told y'all back in 2020. And this for us is extremely stocked up. We went to Costco last night. I went to the grocery store today. So in this side, we just have condiments, some salad dressing, almond milk, cranberry juice, some leftover, chicken broth, cream cheese, spreadable butter, um, tomato paste, anchovy paste, a bunch of butter up here for the holidays, the holiday cooking. And up here we just have condiments. That's my favorite ranch. We always have a lot of sour cream or strange <laughs> egg whites. This is the kind I like. Uh, this is really good. I don't drink a lot of it, but it's orange pineapple mayonnaise which is from costco this is hilarious so my husband always looks at the stuff made with the rotisserie chicken and he always 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 wants the chicken noodle soup i hate chicken noodle soup i make it for him he says mine is fabulous i think it's disgusting we're two educated people and we thought it was three dollars and 49 cents for this giant thing of soup <laughs> We go home and we're like, we are silly or we're tired still from all the travel. And we got a deep freezer. I don't know if I told y'all that. I did say the freezer, but I didn't mean the this freezer. We got a deep freezer recently. So I was finally able to pick up bulk meat at Costco. Every single week I make a sheet pan dinner, which I will hopefully get one done for you. So I got boneless, skinless chicken thighs, a huge thing of that. And then my husband doesn't eat fish, but I love fish. And I usually get a big portion like this and it's never cut. This is the first time it's cut and has the skin on it. So I, I normally cut it myself and then put it in little freezer bags. So I will be putting them into individual bags and putting them in the deep freezer. Uh, and then I'll be freezing everything except for one of these for this week. Uh, English muffins, you're gonna laugh, eggs, eggs, <laughs> eggs. That is my main source of protein. Sometimes I will eat four eggs in a day. I'll just have eggs for lunch and I always have eggs for breakfast because I don't like a lot of meat. That is my homemade tuna salad. This is something I always do um, when I chop up an onion. I put it into, if I don't need the whole onion, I put it into a little Tupperware. These seal where there's no odor. And I do the same thing with celery. And the celery, you just put it in a little bit of water, keeps it nice and fresh. This drawer, we just have a lot of club soda. There's some Diet Coke in the back for my son-in-law. Ginger ale, this is for me. I need to put some more in here. I like the bubbly water myself. This is our favorite cheese. Tillamook, it's really, really good. And then I've got some cream cheese coming up for the holidays. We picked up Borgian last night, again, for the holidays. I love these as little snacks, these little mozzarella pearls. These are really good. And my husband likes the string cheese. Of course, we've got Parmesan. We've got cream cheese. And then produce drawer squash, zucchini, red pepper. This is my favorite uh, salad. We've got the Organic Girl Butter Plus. 
And this is where we keep meat. I have some chicken tenders, some bacon. Uh, my husband got that. That's, I don't know what that is, salami. <laughs> and then we've got pepperoni. We like to make our own pizza, American cheese, and thin provolone. So the bottom freezer is not as neat and nice and cleaned out as the top. We have some microwave meals, which it's incredibly, incredibly rare. Who knows how long we've had these. We hate lasagna, but for some reason we always, we like lasagna. We hate frozen lasagna. And these have never been opened. They're from the summer. They sounded like a good idea at the time. Um, some fish sticks. This is from Costco. It's similar. It, it is sea, um, a sea bass, but it's not as good. These are just some frozen salmon, frozen chicken tenders, beer battered cod. These are little tacos from Costco. Some Pedialyte, um, liquid, liquid pops, ice pops, whatever. Cauliflower florets and rice cauliflower. That is for holiday and some leftover Sister Schubert's rolls. Okay, for the pantry, what is that? Oh, it's one of those coffee makers that you put those little pods in and that's a, a little tray if you want to, you know, put your food like in bed or on the sofa or something, which we never use that. I don't drink coffee, that's why it took me a while. That, we ran out of cabinet space, it's a, a little instant pot, but it's the crock pot version and got some water, trash bags, toaster, the bubbly water that I need to put in the fridge. I have started using this um, this year when I cook my eggs, the avocado oil. I think it's better for me. I hope it is. I was using canola before that. Some cranberry juice, honey, extra virgin olive oil. I picked these up last night. The pepper and salt for holiday recipes. The same here. This is like all baking stuff and um, Trader Joe's pumpkin pancake mix. Then got all the canned goods here. This is not dirty, it needs repainting. It is from that. So we've got beans, rotel, lots of tomato sauce. The pumpkin is for holiday. Some canned vegetables, chicken broth, uh, cream of mushroom, tuna, ramen, which is Good to keep on hand because I don't like soup. So if I ever don't feel good, that's the soup that I'll have. And tons of chicken stock. These are chicken stock back here too. Vegetable stock, I do a lot of cooking with this. My favorite brand of pasta, Del Checo. Oh, here's a bad thing. This is like a once in a blue moon treat. That is for me, he hates that. Jasmine rice egg noodles, and then we've got unopened rice, unopened egg noodles, and taco shells, and mayonnaise we got at Costco last night, and just all of our spices. Oh, speaking of spices, nope, nope, that's not it. That's not it. Here it is. This is the best spice I have ever found for chicken. It is so, so, so good. Love that so much. Um, but anyways, if you want to know why the pantry is organized, it has nothing to do with me. My husband comes in here and fixes it all the time. <laughs> so there's my tea. My girlfriend that comes to visit us every year loves jelly. We don't eat jelly. So we always bring home the room service jelly and she loves it because she can have a different flavor every day. And there's some tea, hot chocolate, some cups, paper towels, Skinny Pop, which is what I like to eat. We have some tortilla chips because I'm going to make some chili and have uh, Wavy Lays. What are these? Kettle chips. We don't eat sugar that often, but every now and then I need a peanut butter M&M. If I am going to eat bread, I will only eat fresh bakery bread or sometimes I'll have those English muffins. Croutons for the salad. Almonds for the salad. And then up here we have cereal, paper plates, paper towels, more cups, and just Ziploc bags. Up here, whoa, parchment paper, napkins, uh, coffee, uh, cups, let me think. <laughs> uh, oh, that's the little coffee things for that coffee thing down there. And I used to keep baking stuff in there, but I don't bake very often anymore, so I don't. Oh, and there's popcorn, peanut butter. So the freezer, I am beyond, beyond excited about. Our fridge and freezer completely died during the pandemic and you couldn't get parts. 
you couldn't buy another freezer you could do nothing with it so this is a very small one i think it's 13 cubic feet i'm just seeing if it says i don't know um but anyways it's small there's just two of us um these are the fish sticks that i like i never liked them as a kid but these are really good they are um cod and then i've got my this sea bass that i prefer and my husband likes these they are the frozen taquitos phyllo shells i just picked these up today i could not find these last holiday season to save my life i went to 10 stores these i love these are little mini frittatas they're only 70 calories sorry i have that facing backwards these are some things from omaha steaks that people have gifted us these are my favorite um, I have people over and make breakfast. I like to do these biscuits over the canned. They're so much better and they're way cheaper at Costco. This is ice cream. This is, oh, they gave us um, non-sliced bread and rolls. Those are just that. Meatballs, still tons of space left. And I do keep my nuts and I will be moving those nuts um, from inside out here. Just put a small bag inside. And this is all the pesto from my garden. I froze it in little ice cube trays and I have made pasta with it already and it comes out amazing. So this is one of my favorite healthy breakfast. I kind of got my toast a little too toasty. I have half an avocado that I have just mashed up. This is one egg and um, some of those egg whites that you saw. And then I'm just gonna make some scrambled eggs and make some avocado egg toast. So you wanna pull your eggs off before they're completely done because they will keep cooking while you put the avocado on your toast. So I put a little bit of salt and a little bit of this everything bagel seasoning on. And that's it, really super simple and really yummy. So tonight I'm making a really healthy dinner. I've got a zucchini, a squash, and a red pepper. I have a package of chicken that I showed you from Costco, tons of spices, some olive oil, and I just like to get this prepped a little bit earlier in the day because as the day goes on, the more and more I don't feel like cooking, which is why I use the crock pot a lot. So I'm just gonna start by putting a little olive oil in this bowl and tossing the chicken in it. And then we're gonna coat it with these seasonings. This one is for the vegetables. I just leave it out. I don't um, do the vegetables until they go on to the sheet pan. So let me get this all prepped and I'll show it to you. Okay, so I just tossed the chicken. These again are boneless, skinless thighs. If you don't like thighs, you can use breast, you can use chicken tenders, you can use whatever you want. Um, so seasoned salt, onion powder. This is what I was showing you in my pantry the other day, beer can chicken. I don't like heat, I don't like spice, so you will see I don't, I use spices, but not spicy. Uh, garlic and ranch. This is the most important one, but you can add heat, you can add any whatsoever that you want, it's kinds of seasonings. But the trick is to season it very well because chicken is boring. It's very boring to me anyways. So I am not super crazy about chicken. I like the flavor of the thighs so much better. I think this is so much more flavorful. And this is the main one and you really can't put too much of that on. So I'm just going to toss it and make sure to season up the other side as well. And then I'm just going to put some plastic wrap on the top of this and I'm going to put it in the fridge and then I will show you how I cook it. So let me just do this other side real fast. Helps if I look not through the iPhone because <laughs> it's easier to see what you're doing if you don't do that. Garlic. I know this looks like a lot. Trust me on this. It isn't, it's perfect. And it gives the vegetables like amazing, amazing flavor. So I'm just gonna toss it all again and get that into the fridge so these flavors can kind of marry for a little bit. I use very little oil because you can see there's still some fat on the chicken and that's gonna cook down in the oven 
and so you don't really need a whole lot of oil. So get these veggies all chopped up now. Look how pretty that is. I love to do with the uh, red peppers. Sometimes I will do it orange, but I like having the colors. So when it's time to cook, I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on there, a tiny bit of olive oil. I don't serve this with rice or pasta or any kind of grain. Uh, I used to, it goes very well with rice or you know whatever you would like, but we are just trying to go a little bit lower carb. I still eat carbs, 1000% I still eat carbs, but I find this meal is filling enough on its own and I don't feel like it needs the extra, um, the grain or whatever to go with it. So, so I don't do it. <laughs> so just a quick little update. We had a very hard freeze. It is so cold here. So I went out and got about everything that I could pick. And so there's still some tomatoes in here that are ripening. Of course, I need to put those down in the bag. Oh, these are ripe. I need to change them out. Yes. Okay. I got stuff to make salsa, but then I ate so many tomatoes over the weekend. I don't have enough to make salsa anymore. But these will be amazing in the sheet pan supper. I love these. I cut them in half. They're really, really good with the vegetables. All right, y'all, so I just spread the vegetables out on a sheet pan lined with foil, and you can see our cherry tomatoes from our garden. And now I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil, not too much, because that chicken, like I said, has some fat on it. And then I'm gonna drizzle, well not drizzle, sprinkle some of the uh, Morton seasoning. And then, just like to lay the chicken on top. So, got my tongs, touch the chicken, and just kind of put this kind of evenly around. There we go. So I have the oven, <clears throat> excuse my voice, I have terrible allergies as per always in lovely middle Tennessee. Um, so I have the oven on 400 convect bake. If you do not have a convection oven, um, maybe just do a little quick search. I would think maybe go up to 425, just so that it gets, um, you know, that little bit of crispiness to the chicken. But I'm about to stick this in and I will show you what it looks like when it's done. So got it in in 30 minutes, it should be done. All right, y'all, so this is the grand finale. Tomorrow night, I am gonna cook two of those salmon fillets that you saw, and one I will eat with some of these leftover vegetables, and the other one I will have on a salad, but this is so yummy. We love this, we do this at least once a week. Yum. So let me know down below, and I think one of the funniest things that I say is I don't really show myself eating the food, except for like once I took a bite of the chili, and I'm like, we're just not on that level yet with me not having makeup on. I think after my month-long vlog, we are on that level, but I filmed that before we had even gone anywhere. We're on that level now, but I know that is probably a frustrating part that I didn't show myself eating it because I know I watch cooking shows all the time. That is what is on, <laughs> I'll just have it on Food Network all day long. And I like watching the person take the bite. So if this is something that y'all enjoy and would like to see more of, I will be sure to insert me taking a bite because yeah, that's that was the missing element. But yeah, let me know what you think down below and what recipe was your favorite. I hope you have an amazing day today. Take care. Bye-bye.